Yo guys, what is going on? Num Nexus here, bring you guys back an anime first impressions video here today. Uh, the anime is going to be called Charlotte. If you guys haven't watched this anime, it's on multiple websites. Go check that out. Don't know if it's on Crunchyroll because I've been watching it there, but it's on a lot of uh, websites. If you guys can also give the video a thumbs up as well as leaving your feedback down below. And if you guys can subscribe for more content, that would be great. Also, thank you for 3,000 subscribers. We did have 3,000 subscribers. <laughs> cannot fucking speak we've hit 3k on this channel so thank you very much i know the growth and the you know the pace has been a little slow but we're gonna be picking it up here back up a bit like i usually say because just don't give up hope but here we're gonna be having charlotte anime review here today we're along our first impressions i watched about the first three episodes and i honestly can say that i'm very very hooked you know it's a school of life drama magic and it's a very good show that i'm really interested in so pretty much to say talk about the synopsis special abilities occur among a small percentage of boys and girls in puberty yu otosaka uses his powers without others knowing and lives a fairly normal life average school life before him suddenly appears a girl now tamori due to his meeting with her the fate of special powers Power users will be exposed. So, you know, like the main heartthrobby soon and soon, you know, quote unquote guy that all the girls are going nuts about right now, you know, this Yu Atsuka guy, pretty much has this ability which can make it to where he can copy or uh, where he can go inside of other people's bodies. It's pretty much like Eno's mind transfer jutsu, except way much shorter than that. And he can pretty much go into there do whatever he wants you know so typically he uses it to go inside of smart people's bodies in order to look at the test memorize it and then go back into his body and put all the answers he memorized from their answers onto his piece of paper being you know the top person in his school being the smartest guy in his school and transferring to an elite high school which he does eventually transfer into uh little does he know though that this girl now tomorrow who can i just say is cute as shit uh, she pretty much is the person she's the student council president of this school where they all have special abilities and powers and she finds out about him doing all of this shit catches him exposes him and then uses him for his powers and puts him on the student council and then they go find other fucked up people like him <laughs> he uses it as well to um look at females bodies and like when he goes inside of them he touches himself as he's a female and i'm like bruh what guy wouldn't do this <laughs> That's so jack. Is that actually like is that harassment? Is it? Because technically you're not someone else. Technically you are that girl. So that's all one of the combo I'm not really gonna get into. But overall, it's a really good anime. You would assume that it's probably gonna be like funny and like heavy, like actiony with all this exposing shit, you know. But no, it's actually a very sad anime. It's got a lot of drama going on with it. A lot of people have some backed up, uh, some fucked up backstories. Uh, there's this supermodel girl. I forgot her name, but she's cute as shit. Yu I think her name is, and she pretty much is probably easily one of the cutest side ponytail girls that I've seen in anime, like easily. And uh, she's got this really sad backstory where her sister died, and her two little friends that help her out in her band because she's very successful. Uh, one of them had a huge crush on the sister, and it's really sad, like sad stuff like that. You know, people tell me that the end is gonna get more sad as it goes on. Um, I've only gotten up to three episodes, so I want to find out more, but. Uh, I just really want to get more into this anime. I'm very hooked on it right now. It's easily uh, one of my favorite animes from this season. I'm really liking the summer season, but this one really stands out to me. Usually that I would watch when I do a first impression. I only watch like two episodes. Like for God Eater, I've watched like two, three episodes. I've lost interest in an anime already, but uh, for like Overlord and like Charlotte, I'm, oh my God, I'm hooked. And that Mayo sume whatever it is some like what is it monster musume i still didn't do a review on that so wait on that guys but yeah this anime is definitely really good i definitely encourage you guys to watch it if you're into that whole little like hot ass lollycon shit i'm telling you you would like this because the, the girls in here they look lolly as hell for their age but they're fine not to mention as well if you also get into the student student council president with powers you kind of paid very nicely so the main character you i'm pretty sure now he's gonna get paid nicely to where him and his sister won't have to struggle as much because she makes all of his his lunches you know and he's very very poor but i really hope that they go into backstory within his parents because they kind of live by themselves or not live by themselves but they're kind of on to their own oh we should talk about the backstory of now tamori so kind of a little bit into that uh if you're ever caught 
for having these special abilities. Like the whole purpose behind this whole school with the student council on trying to catch everybody with special abilities like you and now. Uh, and they bring them over into this school or they either bring they either bring them into the school or they either bring them into a different path of their lives. Because these powers eventually grow away when, you know, they're in adolescence, basically when they turn teenagers. So I'd say like 16, they go away. Um, or well, they go away when they're out of puberty. You know, they get it when they're in puberty, a small percentage of them, but like, when they're done, like, once they've grown up, it goes away. So, that is 16. When the teenagers sit adolescent side, Dow 16. I'm going to say 21. When they hit 21, it probably goes away. That's what I'm going to say. Because now his older brother was about, like, 16. So, I doubt that it would be 16. So, I'm going to say 21. But pretty much, if you call these special abilities, that scientists will be using you to test out to see how you got these abilities, how they work, how they can use it to their advantage for that short time until you lose it. So... It's very dark. It's very dark. You're pretty much become a lab rat. Very, very dark and sad. You wouldn't expect it from looking at this cheesy ass thumbnail, but and looking at these lollies, but it's very sad. Very sad. But that's gonna be it though. Rumble down a luff. A luff? Enough. It's like four hours I'm doing this. I apologize. If you guys can give the video a thumbs up though, that'd be awesome. As well as leaving your feedback down below and subscribe for more content. Let me know what you guys think about Charlotte. And with that being said, a monster Masume. You'll see that somewhere throughout the week and the top five. Um, yeah, so you probably see that within this week. So thank you guys again for watching and thank you for the support. And with that being said, I'm going to be sliding out.